Hi, my name is Dr. Jane Hendricks and I'm with Stem Cell for Life. And I wanted to speak to you a couple of minutes about ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and how stem cell, a stem cell infusion, just one, can have a dramatic impact on your quality of life. As patients who have these conditions know, their quality of life is determined by what they eat, uh, when they eat it, um, traveling can be very difficult. Even going to social events can be difficult. The diet is very strict. Um, if you're seeing a naturopathic physici physician such as myself, I've been treating IBD for many years. Um, there's quite there's a few supplements you need to take every single day. So it's just a matter of maintaining um, some kind of quality of life, preventing either a partial colectomy or an entire colectomy and most of all, preventing flares. A flare can really disrupt a person's life. Anywhere from two weeks to a few months, a patient will have 15 to 20 bowel movements a day with blood, lots of mucus, lots of cramping. A lot of this happens at night, so sleep is very minimal. It is very painful, um, not something that you'd want to have more than you know once a year. And some patients unfortunately get these a few times a year and it can last a while. Now what are the conventional treatments for this autoimmune condition, whether it be Crohn's or ulcerative colitis? Um, typically you're on prednisone for the flare. Some patients will be on a maintenance program of prednisone. Prednisone is a steroid medication that suppresses the immune system that's very typical to prescribe in any autoimmune condition because it's a hyper active immune system and they're trying to you know shut it down so that the person can get to work have some kind of quality of life um, and not be in the bathroom all day so prednisone can be for flare um, you know a couple weeks or it can be long term at a low dose the unfortunate um, side effect of the prednisone is people will gain weight um, but also more importantly the adrenal glands become dependent on it so if they try to get off of it it's zero energy, complete exhaustion. It can be very troublesome, very difficult to get off of it once you've been on it long term. And the long term maintenance uh, medication is a biologic of some sort. These are chemotherapy type medications. So chemotherapy type medications are used to treat autoimmune conditions. A patient takes an, either an injection once a week or once a month, or they're taking something orally every day. But that is the nature of biologics. They're taking this to prevent flares. Again, chemotherapy suppressing the immune system just like the prednisone. With this type of medication, the, the long-term effects um, is cancer. You're susceptible to getting sick, right? Because the immune system prevents infections like colds and flus. So that's not good, especially in this time um, of year when flu season is high or or COVID-19 is high. Either way, you, you don't wanna be that person who gets sick every time you go out amongst friends or the public. And so very disruptive to quality of life just to prevent a flare. Stem cell infusions offer a way out of this. Does insurance cover it? No. Is it costly? Yes, to be honest, it is. Is having a colectomy costly? You know, surgery, is that costly? Yes, it is. Paying for biologics, my goodness, those are very expensive meds. The copays alone are very, very expensive. Patients would love to get off of that medication. And if you've been diagnosed at age 30, you know, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, unfortunately, is a, is a condition that doesn't go away with conventional medicine. You will be paying for the prednisone every time you have a flare. You'll be paying for the biologic every time you have a flare. Uh, you'll be taken down this path of, you know, as you get older, all of, for even healthy people, our systems get weaker over time. That's the nature of aging. If you have this autoimmune condition where you already have severe intestinal inflammation, is that gonna get better or worse as you get older, especially when you're suppressing the immune system the whole time? So the body as a whole is getting unhealthy as the decades go by. Stem cell infusion, what we've seen is just one IV for a Crohn's patient or ulcerative colitis, and, and the patients will be at 10, 15 bowel movements a day with blood. Very, very poor health. And that's just their maintenance. You know, Very severe cases that we've treated with stem cell IVs. And of course, they're willing to pay for it because that is their normal way of life. And these patients have all tried conventional medicine, the biologics of prednisone, and are still really suffering. Um, so one infusion, and even up to almost two years later, they report back, not only you know, have I gained 30 pounds and have one normal bowel movement a day, 
I can now drink tequila and eat fast food. Like I didn't even expect that to happen. I thought, sure, you know, be, be careful with my diet just to be healthy anyway. But I didn't expect on the other end that I could actually be that person um, that could be relatively unhealthy and still maintain me, the person who had ulcerative colitis that was bleeding all day. Now, of course, I, as a physician, a naturopath, I'm going to say, try to eat healthy and try to avoid the alcohol. But it's great to hear that these patients can travel, be with their friends, have a social life again. So that's the value of the stem cell infusion. It resets the immune system. And to learn about how mesenchymal stem cells work in the body, I invite you to visit the FAQ page, FAQ, FAQs page on my website, because that really goes into exactly what do the stem cells do once they're deposited into your blood. Also, what's really important that you need to understand once you go into the website is different kinds of stem cells. What source do you want to go with and what source don't you want to go with? There is very little education and a lot of propaganda when it comes to that. So consumers are paying a lot of money, double what I charge for something that really wasn't stem cells at all. It was marketed as stem cells and it wasn't. And unfortunately, the patient did not get better. So the one I use, I get great results uh, with. It's the same that the government uses for their own military. So it's very high quality, it's the real deal. And um, so that's why we get the best results. So visit my website, Stem Cell for Life. And along with the stem cell infusion, I do my naturopathic protocols, just like I've been treating IBD for the last 17 years. The patient gets that at no additional cost to enhance the productivity, productivity and the count of the stem cells is things that you can do to get more money out of that stem cell infusion. So I give the patient all of that education to enhance the um, results of that service. So visit my website and I hope to see you in my office. Um, I do complimentary consultations by phone or in the office for those interested in getting that treatment.